This is the world's first DC to DC charger. And actually that means it's a big deal. It was built and designed by Californian company Intelligent. And it's debuting what it claims will be the world's first DC to DC rooftop solar powered hybrid bi-directional EV charger. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Electric Viking, great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support and for subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you fully charged in Sydney, in Australia this year, or also in London in just over a month's time, and then again in San Diego in October. By the way, I'll have some free tickets, and also you can get 10% off your tickets by using the discount promotion code in the description below. I make nothing from that. I'm just doing that as a service, but I will be speaking at Fully Charged would love to see you. California-based EV charging tech company Intelligent is debuting what it claims is the world's first DC to DC rooftop solar-powered hybrid bi-directional EV charger. That's quite a mouthful to say that. Now, the goal of Intelligent is to accelerate the adoption of rooftop solar by increasing the effectiveness of solar electricity and providing energy independence for homeowners. Now, the idea here is that DC to DC charging has less energy loss, meaning your solar panels would therefore be more efficient. Now, the company says that they're dedicated to maximizing the output of solar rooftop systems and their products minimize the conversion losses and other inefficiencies that lead to a loss of up to 25% of solar rooftop electrical generation. That's not hyperbole. That is actually true. There is quite a bit of loss when it comes to converting the actual energy on your rooftop into electricity. So by harnessing more solar electricity for homeowners, Intelligent lowers the effective cost, shortens the payback period, and accelerates the adoption of rooftop solar. Is that true? Well, I think it really could be. On the 1st of February, 2023, Intelligent announced 7 million US dollars raised in capital funding. The reason they were able to raise that kind of money is because they developed this product themselves. They invested the money themselves and they made the product themselves. Investors saw how good the product was and said, yeah, we like what you're doing. Here are the funds for you to go bigger. This is the kind of story I really, really love seeing. So now Intelligent are launching their new product at InterSolar North America 2023. If you wanna see, you can go and see it there in Long Beach in California. And the solar EV charger draws power from rooftop solar. It can supply 25 kilowatt of fast DC charging. That's three times faster than AC level two EV chargers, while also supporting vehicle to home and vehicle to grid capabilities. Now in theory, you could charge your electric car much faster at home and have less energy losses by using one of these chargers. EV owners currently plug their cars into home chargers, says electric, that are powered by an alternating current or AC flow of energy, which is generated from the electric grid. But EV batteries operate on a direct current called DC. So they don't use AC, they use DC. That requires the power to be converted from AC to DC in the charging process. AC to DC conversion is inefficient and results in lost energy and a longer charging time. Intelligent says its DC to DC conversion results in 13% energy savings and direct charging DC bypasses the EV's internal conversion electronics, which shortens the charge time. Now, if you currently have solar panels on your roof, you could potentially get a pretty significant boost in the solar output you're getting or the energy output you're getting from those panels. So let's say you're charging between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. when the sun is shining on your panels. You could then have this system set up so it actually is turned on between those hours and you're not paying for electricity. Now, the reality is it turns out that if you have a look at the fine print, it accepts at best 15 kilowatts from solar or batteries. And to get the full 25 kilowatt, you need to add 9.6 from your household AC. Still, even 15 kilowatt would be a huge solar system. You would probably need about 20 solar panels to produce that kind of power. Could you do it? Yeah, absolutely, a lot of people do have 20 panels. It's probably not gonna cover a big portion of the market at this stage. 
Now this system, in my opinion, is a great idea and would work so well during the day. But the full details haven't yet been revealed on exactly how it works, whether or not you can use it with your existing inverter, etc. However, I do believe that once DC charges become more affordable, this kind of technology is the future of home charging. Now, just so you understand though, the grid is actually AC. So you do need to have AC capability in your car as well, of course, as DC. Now, keep in mind that your solar or your battery does need to be massive just to get 10 kilowatt of charging speed from the grid at any one point in time. So this wouldn't really work for people with an average size solar grid or a smaller size solar grid or basically a smaller battery. You need a very big battery or a very big solar grid for this to really be worthwhile. Will that happen? Absolutely, a lot of people have them. Factories, businesses could use these. They'll definitely work, but it isn't for everyone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.